Hi guys, Prepper Pam here. We just picked up our normal delivery of Zycon, uh, Zycon chicken. Um, I don't get the beef from them. I just get the chicken and some fish. We've been using them for about five years. Uh, we got 40 pounds. Comes fresh out of Washington State. This is how it comes. I will put the link um, in the video section. But this is how it comes, and um, they are huge. They're they're like the size of turkey breasts, and it's all in. in they're all in like three packages, and uh, made USA, uh, shipped fresh from Washington State. Um, so this is how we this is how we get our chicken, and they're really big breasts. You can get fish, you can get all kinds of stuff from them. Okay, so this is how big they are. I mean, my husband's pretty big, so they're very large breasts. And all I do is I cut off the fat and I, I can them. I'm not gonna show you the, you know, me canning them, because it's basic. If you're gonna use pints, I just raw pack it. Um, if you want, when you raw pack it, you can even add your spices that you want. I, I add no liquid, you don't need any liquid. So. I just shoved them in the jar for my elevation. It's 15 pounds of pressure for, um, uh, oh shoot, what was it? It was uh, 90 minutes for quarts and 75 minutes for pints. So inside here is four 10 pound bags. Um, we usually do half pressure can and the other half we freeze. Um, we put them in little Ziploc baggies first, two breasts to a pack because there's only two of us. We, uh, we don't freeze them solid, just kind of halfway. And then we use our seal meal the rest of the way. We found out that if we use our seal meal without par freezing them, um, the juices all get sucked into the seal meal and that's not cool. So anyway, this is what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so make sure that you've got your seals boiling. That's fine. You can put a little bit more. Make sure you got your seals boiling. Um, so all I do, super simple. These are all deboned. I cut off. There's, there's, they're uh, boneless and skinless, but I still like cutting off a little bit of the fat because that's going to be in your jar. When I first saw these uh, chicken breasts, I thought for sure they had tricked me with turkey and but they didn't but we like ordering from zycon um or zacon whatever it is look at this this is my hand these are huge this could even feed two people these are absolutely huge um breasts so um and my jars are all clean and I always cut that little rubber piece out of the center that holds the breasts together. But I just cube it up and put it in. It's called raw pack. You can also cook it and put it in there too, but why? Save just a step because it's, you know, done anyway when you pressure can it. So I just pack it in. Some people add salt to the recipe. I don't. It does not do anything for the preserving of the meat. All it does is add a little flavor and it adds sodium to your diet, which you probably don't need. Um, I have done this and I've added like my taco seasonings and stuff, my homemade taco seasoning. You can do that. So I just pack it in. Make sure you don't go above the one inch. So I'm not gonna be doing all of these. I'm just gonna be showing you my Zy the Zycon delivery. You have to go, when you go on, I'm gonna put the link on. So when you go on there, um, you type in your zip your uh, zip code, and they tell you 
the closest delivery spot to you. Now we ordered this chicken eight weeks ago because it takes that long for them to grow because they have to, you know, they have to put in their order. So, um, like I said, these are super fresh. So you go on to the link that I'm going to put on and you put in your zip code and it tells you uh, what is being delivered in your area closest to you. It could be fish, it could be uh, chicken wings, it, it could be salmon, who knows. They, they deal in a lot of stuff. But we've been doing them now about five years and um, we have never ever had one complaint never uh, you know bad food now twice now they we couldn't pick it up because um, they got they got trapped on the mountain when it was snowing and we couldn't get out ourselves so that worked out really well but that's the only reason was weather related and they don't save that chicken for you to pick it up they they cancel that order and do a whole new order because this this meat comes fresh so Anyway, this is what I do, packing it in raw. This way when you want, like if you want chicken salad sandwich, just go open up a jar. Or if you want chicken tacos, open up a jar, put the meat in the pan a little bit, you know, crisp it up a little bit, add your taco seasoning, boom, there you go. Okay, so I'm only going to do these three, but I just wanted to show you what the meat looked like from Zacon Foods. Absolutely lovely. And I'll get the rest of this going. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email and check out Zacon Foods. Um, I'm not, I don't work for them or anything like that. We're just real happy with their food. So um, I'm sure some of you out there haven't had a good experience with them, but I don't care. I mean, it's whatever you want. So uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions. Pepper Pam out. Okay, so I uh, I wanted to do a quick little update um, on this. I use a clean towel and I put vinegar in it and I wipe the rim with vinegar. You want to make sure you don't have any chicken fat or anything because you don't want this beautiful meat not to seal. And here's another tip. The very first time I canned chicken, I slammed my oven and it pulled out all the pressure in every jar and it ruined a whole case of jars. I mean the chicken. Within 24 hours, the chicken had turned black. So be careful around your oven. Um, if you have a trash compactor, buy it. Don't slam it. There we go. I've added no salt. I've added absolutely nothing. And basically, one breast, not the double breast, but one breast is one pint jar. That's how I do it. So I've just done 20 pounds. And I have 20 pints and I'm going to stack them. I have the Presto uh, pressure canner that has the rack and it's specifically for stacking your jars. Um, if you're going to stack your jars and you don't have the rack, you can even use, you know, a nice thick towel. Um, and also I've had some questions. Why don't I use quart jars when I can my chicken? First of all, it's just me and hubby. So um, one pint jar for us is more than enough. Second, I don't feel uh, cool enough to pressure can chicken or any meat in a quart jar because it's so dense. I just don't want to take the chance. And a lot of people say, are you crazy? You can bread and you can rice. And you're worried about, you know, chicken in a quart jar. Yes, I am. Um, I would rather open up two pints than a whole quart. Uh, it's just, it's to me, it's... Um, you know, a little iffy, and that's a lot of chicken. That's a lot of space in that jar to try and get all the botulism and things like that out. You don't, you don't want to take any chances. I don't anyway. So that's why I use pints. Like I said, it's 75 minutes for your 
elevation. If you don't know your elevation, Google it. They'll tell you exactly what you are. And um, for my elevation, I'm doing 15 pounds of pressure at 75 minutes. And I've added no salt. It's just pure, beautiful chicken. Um, here's another 10 pounds ready to go. We are going to be freezing this. This is what I've cut off. And I cut off a little extra because I take this and I dehydrate it. I put some garlic powder and stuff on and I dehydrate it for my dog. These are her treats. So it's just one little salad plate. Um, this was off of... 20 pounds. I cut out that, you know, the little hard cartilage that holds them together. I cut that out, but I always give her a little extra. So if you're wondering what to do with your little scraps, there you go. So anyway, okay, so now this is truly the end of the video. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Later.